Welcome back to Tales from the Red Dragon Inn. We've got one epic die. We are into the Maze of Madness. And uh, so let's begin. So the first thing we do on, a, on the round is invigorate all abilities. So let's go ahead and do that. And invigorate abilities means take off the cooldown token. So we're going to be taking one token off of there. Now, now Fiona can use her Shield Bash once again. All right, uh, let's continue on. Next thing we do is roll the scheme die, and we have some uh, Gizmoblins on the board, so we're going to be rolling up one die for them. All right, we have four Gizmoblins on the board. We're going to be rolling one of these dice to find out what they're going to be doing this round. And it looks like they got the claw symbol, so they will be moving two to the nearest foe and trying to do a melee attack if they can, and then push a target. But... I think they're pretty far away, so let's hope they get going pretty soon. All right, up next we're going to be putting all the initiative tokens into the bag. All right, we're putting all the initiative tokens in the bag, and of course we have the full action, partial action, full action, partial action for our two heroes, and of course the Gizmoblins, which are just which are blue, and they go into my nice crown royal bag. I'm going to shake that up, and we're going to be pulling out a token, and we get... Oh, wow, the Gizmoblins go first, which actually is pretty good because uh, they are going to move two to the towards the nearest foe and try to do a melee attack but they are a long ways away let's zoom in and get them moving and it looks like they're all going to be trying to get to fiona who's closest so number one here goes first and moving into uh difficult terrain cost two movement points so this one's just going to move there and then we have number three is going to move two spaces, one, two, this way towards Fiona. Fiona four is just going to go one, two into this difficult terrain. And this one's going to go one and stop here because it would cost two extra movement and it doesn't have it. So this is actually not bad, not bad for us. All right, back into the token bag we go and let's we'll see who's going next. And next up we have Deirdre gets her full actions. All right, let's go over to Deirdre and see what it is she wants to do with her full action. And by full action, I mean, of course, two actions and a shenanigan. I think she's going to start off with her shenanigan, which is moving up to four spaces. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now let's get her moving up to four spaces. All right, Deidre's in the back here. She can move up to four spaces, and I think she's going to start hammering on number five. So she's going to go one, two, and three to here she can't move into the other terrain because she doesn't have two extra movement left so she'll end it off there but she's within range two of five and that's a good thing because she has two actions let's go on the board and take a look at her actions and see what she wants to do all right she's got a couple of actions so action number one she's going to spend and she'll just do a typical ranged attack at a foe within range of two yellow, rolling one yellow die and pushing the target one if she so desires. So let's see what she wants to do. All right, so she's going to attack Gizmoblin number five with a yellow die. You can see that there pretty good. And we get, oh, we get an exploding die. So that's one damage and we get to roll another one. So we just keep going with the exploding die. And she gets one exclamation point, which would mean an epic die, but we already have one in the pool and you need to have more symbols uh, to add one to the pool. So she does a total of two damage to Gizmoblin number five. All right, number five takes a couple of damage. Now remember they have uh, five total health. So there we go. All right, and uh, Deirdre has one more action remaining. So let's find out what she wants to do with that one. All right, she's actually just gonna do the same thing. Why wouldn't she? So let's go ahead and have her shoot at number five again. And this time she could push it backwards and she might do that. All right, one more yellow die ranged attack, and let's see what she can get. And she gets uh, one damage and an exclamation point, which once again is not going to do anything. So one more damage to five, and she can push it backwards. She can push it away from her. Uh, and is that going to do us any good? Actually, yes, she's going to push it one space to here, because... and. When you do the push rule, you ignore uh, difficult terrain. So she does push it back one. One more damage on Gizmoblin number five. All right, that's going to put three total damage on five. And that's all good. All right, 
back we go now into the bag for initiative. Find out who's going next. All right, initiative bag once again. And yep, the old Crown Royal bag. All right, and we pull out. Uh, Fiona gets a partial action. All right, let's uh, go to Fiona and find out what she wants to do with that one partial action. All right, she gets a partial action, which can be either an action or shenanigan. As we recall, Fiona has no shenanigans. So for an action, what does she want to do? I think she wants to uh, go ahead and do a move action. So she's going to go ahead and spend that, and she gets to move up to five spaces. So let's go ahead and move Fiona up to five. All right, I think this is going to work out pretty good. So she's going to go one two, three, four, five. So she is now adjacent to number five and four. So we'll see what happens. That was her partial action. Into the bag we go once more for the next initiative token. And that would be Deidre gets a partial action. All right, let's find out what she wants to do with her partial action. All right, Fiona's got one partial action, and I think she's just going to use a shenanigan. She's going to move up to four spaces, and let's have her go ahead. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and move up to four. I think what she's going to do for her movement, she's going to go one, two into the difficult terrain, three and four. She's going to move right up here. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good. All right, into the token bag we go. Yes, we only have one token left, and it's going to be a full round of actions for Fiona. So let's see what she wants to do. She's going to have two actions. Remember, she has no shenanigans. All right, we're just going to discard the shenanigan because she doesn't have one. But for an action, I think she's just going to do her regular melee attack. So melee attack, she's going to be rolling two yellow dice, one full, and splash one. Splash one means uh, any adjacent uh, foe to the one she's just attacking that takes damage is going to take splash damage. Actually, you don't even have to take damage, it's splash damage. All right, let's get out the dice tray. She's gonna be rolling two yellow dice and she's gonna be doing some splash damage. All right, it only makes sense she's gonna attack five. Only has two health left. These dice never miss. So this is gonna be an automatic two hits. So let's see, and one damage to this one. So, well, she gets a straight up two hits and it's gonna be one damage to four. So five had three damage. Two more is five. It is defeated and out of here. Uh, so destroyed, that's good. And also now, number four is gonna take one damage, splash damage. All right, Gizmoblin four takes one splash damage. All right, uh, Fiona has one action left. Let's go back and see what she wants to do with that one action. All right, for one action, I think we're gonna go and use the old shield bash once again. Because if she harms anybody, she's going to heal. And I think we're gonna actually even go ahead and use the epic die. <laughs> so she's gonna be rolling two yellow, and she's gonna grab the epic die out of the pool. So she's gonna be rolling two yellow and a black on this ability. Now remember, that's got a cooldown of three, so we're gonna put three cooldown tokens on it. So she does a melee attack to one foe and harm. So if she does any damage to the foe, which I'm pretty sure she will, she's going to heal her only damage. Let's get back to the board and have her roll up some dice. All right, let's have her roll this up. Oh, this is going to be nasty. All right, so she's attacking four. And you don't get explode, or uh, you know, if you get an exclamation point while you roll the epic dice, you don't add an epic die. So just add it, that in. So she's going to be doing, oh wow, three, four, five damage and she will heal. That's a one shot. And like I said, this doesn't count because she used an epic die. All right, if you use an epic die for defense or rolling attack, you don't get to add any more into the pool. All right, five damage to number four and she gets to heal. And yes, five damage to number four. It has a damage on already. It's just going to absolutely destroy it. So we've destroyed Gizmoblin number four as well. That is really good. And now Fiona gets to heal one. All right, and very quickly, so because of this ability, uh, harm, so we harmed the enemy, you heal one. She only had one damage on her. Now she's fully healed with a shield on her. All right, I think uh, it's a very quick episode today, but I'm just gonna be doing one round an episode to try to keep these things flowing and catch any errors and so that I can get an episode up a day. All right, we're gonna zoom out and wrap up for today. 
All right, so that's where we're going to leave it off today in the maze of madness. We very quickly wiped out two of the Gizmoblins. We have number one left, number three left. They're fully healed. Uh, they made the mistake of just trying to get into melee range, which they couldn't make it. So now we're doing pretty good, I think. Fiona's fully healed again. That's pretty awesome. She still has one shield token remaining on herself, and so does Deidre. Uh, but now we've got some cooldowns going in on her... Uh, her shield strike bashing ability. So there you go. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Tales from the Red Dragon Inn. We're playing Scenario 1, Danger Room Debacle. So let's see what's going to happen tomorrow. If you want to join me, I'd appreciate it. So thanks so much, and we'll see you then.